We're talking to Dr. Leonard Madhu, who's uh, given us some information relative to the African world. Uh, the uh, scattering of Africans literally all over the world. And of course, Dr. Madhu, before we left, you were giving us an, a, an overview in terms of where Africans, for the most part, are situated. Mm -hmm. And I must say that they are situated in such numbers that we never realized that, uh, that they might have been there, but we certainly didn't realize that you're talking about the hundreds of thousands in mm -hmm. these particular areas. Let's continue that. Mm -hmm. Well, how, how are these uh, Africans treated, you know, in the countries? where they currently reside mm -hmm. in terms of uh, political and you know social order mm -hmm. for example let's take the case of dominican republic okay mm -hmm. take the case of a guy called jose francisco peña gomez mm -hmm. peña gomez was a long-time mayor of of uh, santo domingo you know the the the, the capital mm -hmm. his parents were haitian mm -hmm. you know so he's very black, mm -hmm. you know. But he was the most popular politician in the country. Mm -hmm. uh, he was a member of a Socialist International, a close friend of a former Israeli Prime Minister, Shimon Peres, mm -hmm. you know. He ran for election a few years ago against, you know, an Akon in the Dominican Republic called uh, Balagua, who has been president for a long time. He won the election, everybody knew he, he did. Mm -hmm. But because they didn't want a black president, mm -hmm. You know, they rigged the election mm -hmm. against him. Four years later, he ran against a nobody in Dominican politics, mm -hmm. you know, called Leno Fernandez. Mm -hmm. Everybody knew that Peña Gomez won, mm -hmm. but they rigged mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. to prevent him because of his skin mm -hmm. of becoming president of the country. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in a country even like the Dominican Republic, that's pre predominated by blacks and mestizos mm -hmm. yeah the mestizo elite still looks down on on the blacks mm -hmm. you know in 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 the spanish colonies you know the mixed mm -hmm. blood they call them mestizos mm -hmm. or the british call them mulattoes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so the mestizos in dominican republic you know yeah think they are superior to mm -hmm. to to dark-skinned haitians mm -hmm. you know that's an example in colombia you have about five million blacks you know but what happened or what has been happening mm -hmm is that the official census never counted blacks in the country. Okay. <laughs> it never so did. they're not visible. They're exactly. invisible for all practical purposes. Exactly. They're invisible for all practical purposes. Okay? There are about 4,000 and some legislators, 80 are black in, in the country. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, take the example of Peru. The same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Most of the menial jobs and all that are reserved for blacks only, mm -hmm. you know, second only to the indigenous group. Mm -hmm. That was what gave rise, you know, to what you, a guerrilla warfare that lasted a whole lot of years mm -hmm. called the Shining Path, mm -hmm. you know, well, that was a rebellion of the indigenous people against the hegemony mm -hmm. of, of the white elite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You go to Ecuador, the same, they're relegated to the worst, you mm -hmm. know, menial jobs, no civil rights. You know, the only way a black person could be recognized in Ecuador is if you're a soccer player. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, yeah. uh, that's the only, only, uh, exactly. only avenue of, <laughs> of, of social mobility. Mm -hmm. You know, in Cuba, mm -hmm. even, even as hard as the socialist revolution, you know, tried to equalize, mm -hmm. you know, the racial, you know, imbalance, mm -hmm. you know, by trying to promote a whole lot of blacks. Mm -hmm. But still, if you look at the Cuban National Assembly mm -hmm. or the Cuban Politburo, Mm -hmm. You hardly see any blacks in there. Mm -hmm. In fact, one of the highest ranking blacks in the country was Theophilo Stevenson, mm -hmm. you know, who was heavyweight champion for, for a long time, mm -hmm. Olympic mm -hmm. racing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So apart from him, you, you have very few blacks of standing mm -hmm. in Cuba, despite attempts by Fidel Castro, mm -hmm. you know, to rectify that. Mm -hmm. In Argentina, blacks are highly invincible, invisible, mm -hmm. you know, because the country pretends that you don't have them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a white, mm -hmm. lily white country. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the World Bank stated that at least there are about two million Afro-Argentines uh -huh. in the country. Well, and and they say that there's none at all. That, that's right, there's none at all. Okay, yeah. In Chile, the same. Chile claims to be the whitest country, you know, in the whole of Latin America, but mm -hmm. the Afri there are Africans living in Chile, mm -hmm. you know, in, 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 uh, in, in Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. Yeah, almost half of the population Mm -hmm. are blacks, but they are discriminated against mm -hmm. too, even when President Oscar Arias tried to pass legislation, you mm -hmm. know, to ameliorate it, 
What is happening in that part of the world, in South America, is that half of the countries deny that racism exists, mm -hmm. and there are no laws at all to rectify okay. them. Mm -hmm. For example, in Venezuela, they say, well, there's no laws against it, so there's no racism at all. Mm -hmm. But now Hugo Chavez is trying to take a look to see, hey, you know, something mm -hmm. is happening here. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to create some laws mm -hmm. to protect, you know, mm -hmm. people against discrimination. Mm -hmm. But the fact is that for centuries, they've always used that as an excuse to mm -hmm. say, well, it doesn't exist in a society okay. the way it exists in the U.S. Mm -hmm. okay. Just because we don't have laws here, uh -huh. you know, but you all have laws against it there, okay. you see? Mm -hmm. So, but the difference is that we have laws that are regulated, that control it. Mm -hmm. In those countries, they just, you know, just it's so, subliminal, mm -hmm. exactly. Sub you just leave it alone, mm -hmm. exactly. But and the problem is that most of the black citizens in, this con in those countries have not organized themselves because they've not been politically sensitized, okay. you see? And because they, they are poorly educated, they lack the resources and all that that okay. African-Americans had here to fight, you mm -hmm. know, for civil rights. And moreover, the slave trade and mm -hmm. slavery, mm -hmm. slavery lasted longer mm -hmm. in Latin America than it did here. Okay. So after it ended, you know, the slow pace mm -hmm. of changes, you know, is hard to come by. And that's precisely what is happening now, mm -hmm. you know. So in those, some countries, they are trying to pass legislation to control it. Mm -hmm. But then centuries old habits, you know, die hard. Okay. In Nicaragua, the same thing, you know, uh, the new president, you know, try to, is trying to pass some laws mm -hmm. against discrimination against blacks, you know, mm -hmm. who live in Blueface and all these places. Mm -hmm. El Salvador, the same, mm -hmm. you know, they, they try to, mm -hmm. they don't have laws against it because they deny yeah, that it exists. That it uh -huh. exists in their and society. So you can't pass a law against something, against that, does something that doesn't exist. exist right? You see, yeah, in Honduras, mm -hmm. the Garifuna blacks are, you know, rebelling very hard now mm -hmm. against, against, the, against discrimination mm -hmm. against them, you see. Mm -hmm. So, but then go to the Middle East, it's a different story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, most of them say, well, you know, under Islam and under Allah, like, everybody mm -hmm. everybody's equal. Okay. Yeah, but underneath, uh -huh. blacks in those societies have been discriminated okay. heavily. Okay. Yeah, even in Libya. Uh -huh. Libya's Colonel Gaddafi wants to be, mm -hmm. you know, the, the leader of all Africa. Mm -hmm. But in his country, his people were slaughtering, you know, blacks. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. he didn't do a thing about mm -hmm. it, then expel them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and of course, Dr. Madhu, we're getting ready for our second commercial break, and then we'll come back and uh, we'll continue this. But it is surprising that uh, Africans have, uh, are scattered, all, literally scattered all over the world, as you're indicating, yet uh, there's one thing that's central, and that is discrimination against them wherever they are. Of course, we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. We're talking to Dr. Leonard Madhu.